It's two now. Let's go. Just literally just smashing the gas. Watch it wheelie like nothing. Yo, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, guys, we have part two of the performance mods being done to the 850. Boys, I am so freaking pumped. I am so excited, boys. We have a new package boys so if you haven't seen from my last video guys look at the new addition to the four-wheeler sheesh we got new yoshimura exhaust which sounds so freaking good point is boys if you add an exhaust whether it be a slip on or a full exhaust system to your atv or quad you're gonna wanna tune it guys. If you want, you know, that optimal horsepower, that, you know, superb performance out of your four-wheeler, you're gonna want to tune it. In this box right here, boys, we have a package from DinoJet. If you have not heard from DinoJet, I'm gonna leave all their information down in the description and up on the screen so you guys can follow them on Instagram. DinoJet is actually a tuning company that literally tunes everything and anything, whether it be from a truck or a car to an ATV or a snowmobile. They tune it all, boys. So I ended up reaching out to DinoJet because literally everywhere I asked you guys, literally everybody recommended the Power Vision 3, Power Vision 3. So I ended up looking it up and it has a whole bunch of benefits other than just tuning the fuel, guys. So a lot of these exhaust companies actually sell little fuel tuners that are like probably this big. It actually just tunes the fuel in your bike to, you know, not run lean. Because if you don't know, Can-Am from factory runs super duper lean. So adding an exhaust just makes it so bad and you're gonna wanna tune as soon as you can. But DinoJet, guys, before we open this package, DinoJet, the things that this tuner does is un freaking believable it's incredible it lowers your bike temperature keeps your cooling levels down it raises your rpm takes away the limiter and actually just gives you that fueling that you need whenever you add an exhaust so i messaged dinojet and they were on it guys they were like yo let's work let's do it and within a couple of days the tuner was at my front doorstep and it's in my possession now so i haven't opened the box yet it is completely sealed and we're gonna open it right now and see what all comes with the tuner or what they sent me all right, so here's the box from DinoJet, guys. I have not opened it. It's completely sealed. <laughs> here's our knife for the video. <laughs> Another little screwdriver. All right, so one side, two sides, and the last side. All right, here we go. Oh, boys. And this is what we got inside of it. We actually got a shirt. Yes, sir. Actually, you know what? Sorry, Iron Horse. Perfect fit, boys. Dino Jet pushed the limit. All right, so we got a shirt. That's awesome. We got an order paper right here. We got, holy crap, we got a ton of sticker decals. We got, we have small ones. We have some, we have four medium ones, which are pretty freaking huge. And we have two huge stickers, boys. That's cool. But the main attraction, boys, check that out. Dino Jet. Dino Jet Power Series. And right here it shows what it's for. 18 to 21 Can-Am Outlander. Let's open this puppy up. So we have some tape right here. And... Oh... It shifted a little bit. No. Here it is, boys. How do we open this? Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Oh, there we go. Look at this tuner. Holy crap. It says DinoJet right here, boys, on the side. DinoJet Power Vision. And this is nice. This is actually really, really nice. What else do we have in the box? So we open the box, boys. We have, looks like, parts list and instructions. We have the cable right here that, that actually connects into the dyno jet, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this connects into the dyno jet tuner. This one connects into the OBD port that's actually under the four wheeler, which we'll show you right now, it's under the seat. We got a USB cable, pretty sure for a computer. So actually some people already said that the tunes are already on the tuner, but if not, we would have to download it. We have some 3M adhesive, I'm pretty sure if I wanted to stick the tuner somewhere because it actually is waterproof and shockproof. More decals, which is awesome. 
And what do we have here? We have an alcohol wipe and a product registration card. Sweet. All right, so here we have the instructions, guys, and it's, I actually already looked through it, and it's actually very, very, very detailed. It's actually very simple, but we don't need instructions, guys. If you do, you know, just know that they do come with the packaging. Actually, the packaging, the box is super duper nice. I didn't expect it to be that nice for some reason, but that's nice. So let's get more into depth on this tuner, guys. So you actually don't have to keep this on your machine once you've tuned it. You can actually just take it off and, you know, the tune will still be on the bike versus some of the other exhaust companies that actually sell the fuel tuners actually have to keep those tuners on at all times, which, you know, sometimes they can fry up or mess up because they're not fully waterproof. But this, boys... You don't have to keep it on. It is waterproof and shockproof. And to tune the machine, guys, it is so, so simple. I mean, a five-year-old could do it. You pick up your seat, and the diagnostic port is literally right here, guys. It's right here. You literally push this tab down, it pulls out, and here it is. So easy, boys. I'm gonna set it down for a second, guys. You just grab it, grab your OBD2 port, connect it, and that is it, you guys. It is so simple. You just flip the switch, push the green button, find the tune that you want, and download it to your machine. It doesn't even take more than 10 minutes to do this. But before we rip it, guys, I actually wanna take the A50 down the road, do a little test rip, see how fast it'll go, a top speed run, because I wanna do it before and after the tune to see how much more faster it is. Because, I mean, I've ridden this thing, and I know how fast it is, but I wanna ride it, tune it, and ride it 10 minutes after that so I can really feel the difference. So we're gonna get a quick zero to 60 in a top speed run, guys. I'm gonna pick you guys up whenever we're on the GoPro and this thing is warmed up and ready to rip. All right, guys. Let's go. All right, so I haven't really ridden the, the four-wheeler with the new exhaust other than the last video when I kinda of just ripped it around here. But I'm going to want to do a top speed run and a 0 to 60 run. Let's get a wheelie in, boys. See how much of a difference it'll make. Yes, sir. Now I know how to wheelie. I wonder if this thing will wheelie in high. I have it in high now. Yes, sir. 35 in a wheelie, baby. So I, so I don't have a way of calculating it, guys, but we're going to do a 0 to 60. Put this thing in high in four-wheel drive. I'm going to manually test it after the video's done and uh, put it in at the top of the screen. So uh, let's go, boys. On stock tuning, go. So that was 60 miles an hour and 66 is the top speed on this thing. It gets to 66 so fast, guys. I mean, watch. 40, 50, 66. It's so fast. It gets to it so freaking fast, guys. I had done it before, but I just wanted to make sure that the pipe didn't make it go faster for some reason. So now we're gonna tune it and then we're gonna bring it back out and see what it'll do once it's tuned guys all right guys so now off comes the seat again but this time we're gonna tune it baby let's do it so you grab your tuner like i said grab the diagnostic tool plug it up and once we have it plugged up push the button power it on look how nice this looks oh so nice dino jet it's the first screen that pops up all right so all required files found we're gonna select the tune and here's what we find we find they're both the same. You know, the bottom one, STK sounds for stock, is the stock tune, and the top one is the tune that we actually want. So like I mentioned, guys, while it's riding the tune right now, it's at 1%, it raises your limiter, your speed limiter, it raises your RPMs, it keeps your machine running a whole lot cooler, it uh, adjusts your fueling for exhaust systems like this one or whatever you may have. And it also changes your fan kick on times, which you know helps it out, keeps it a lot cooler and just running a whole lot richer and better. So we're gonna wait for this to finish riding. I'm pretty sure once it's done, it'll just say completed or something. And after that, we'll take it out for a rip. But boys, just how the machine is right now, it rips, it's so freaking fast. I mean, it willies and high and low like nothing. So I'm really, really excited to see how it performs after the tune. That's why I wanted to ride it before and after so I can really, really feel a difference and you know, not BS it and be honest with you guys. And like literally five minutes later, flash complete. So verify flash, turn key off, 
then on. So off, on, and continue. Are we tuned? Is that it? I don't know, are we? Let's I don't know if we're tuned, I think we are, I said it was complete. All right, we're gonna disconnect it, and there's only one way to tell, boys. I'm gonna pick you guys back up whenever we're on the GoPro, and let's see what happens. All right, boys, it says it was flashed, it said it was complete. I don't know if it was, it was literally so fast and easy. Oh shoot, boys! It's, uh, it's I can feel it already. It is so responsive. Let's see. Should we get a top speed? Actually, let's do a wheelie. Let's do a wheelie, boy. Let's do let's do a wheelie and high. Oh shoot! Dang! They picked up so quick. It's two, die. We gotta get a top speed on the way back. It's two now. Let's go. You can really, you can really feel the difference, boys. The way it just pulls, you can feel it kind of like in the throttle now. Like I don't know if they they improved it and made it a little bit better, or what the case may be, but it just feels like so much more responsive. All right, boys. We're gonna go ahead and just kick it off with a top speed. It's the first thing we're gonna do. All right, boys. Actually, let's do a. Let's do a zero to 60 and we're gonna time it. Compare it with the first one versus stock and we're just gonna keep pedaling all the way through. Ready guys? On your mark. Get set, go. Oh shoot! Go! Yo, this thing is a freaking rocket! Oh shoot! Thank you! Oh shoot, I can't! Oh shoot! Oh god! Crap, boys, I only hit 76. Yo, it got so squirrely. I was going left and right the whole way. Oh, God. We gotta do it again, we gotta do it again. That time, I was in four-wheel drive. Maybe they had, you know, had, you know, something big to do in it, but we'll put it in two-wheel drive now, see if that's any better. But boys, holy crap, 76 miles an hour. This thing is a freaking rocket, holy cow. Let's get a 20 year old going. And go. 30, 40, 50, 60, motion, 70. Just freaking eats now. Oh, shoot! <laughs> Yo! Yo! Holy cow, boys! Yo, the exhaust isn't as poppy anymore. I'm pretty sure they adjusted the fuel on that. Oh, yes, boys. A can am, baby. It's a freaking powerhouse now. We're tuned. I'm gonna try and look up how much horsepower this is supposed to put me at. I don't know off the top of my head how much horsepower these can ams actually got from factory. I think it's about 78 if I'm right. I wanna see how much horsepower adding a pipe and a tune adds to this thing. But boys, you literally feel it. Let's put it in low. Oh shoot! Yo, yo, no kidding. It's literally wanting to wheelie really by itself. Watch. Yo! I'm not even pulling up. No way. I'm not even pulling up. Ready, ready? Just literally just smashing the gas. Watch it wheelie like nothing. No! No! <laughs> Yo, I'm not pulling up on the handlebars at all. At all, boys. Look, I'm perfectly still. Yo! That's nuts. I'm not even pulling up on the handlebars. Yo, that is completely insane. What happens if we pull up on it now? Oh shoot, it gets up so fast now! Yes sir! I wanna know when my fan temps kick on now. I'd have to do more research into that, boys. But guys, huge, 
huge, huge shout out to Dino Jet Baby for coming along, partnering up, boys, joining the team. Holy crap. Yo, let's go. Like I said, man, huge shout out to Dino Jet. They were so quick to respond, so easy to get to, and they were quick, boys. They said, yo, let's work, let's partner, let's do it. They shipped it out, and from the time I messaged them to the time I got it, it was like a week. Man, great customer service. I actually called them because I had a couple questions about the tuning process, but man, they got back to me so quick, and boys, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. This thing is a freaking powerhouse now. Dynojet really, really woke this thing up. Now, if you look on their website, it actually shows that um, it doesn't have tuning available for 2021 models yet. And as you see, it works. Go buy it, even if it's for 2020. They hadn't tested it yet since these machines are kind of, you know, so new. But guys, it works. I can't say enough good things about the guys over at Dynojet. And if you guys aren't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Like this video, subscribe, comment down your thoughts and opinions on the video, on the new pipe, on the tuning of it. This thing is a complete changed machine and a powerhouse boys huge shout out to dino jet man all the information will be down in the description thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like comment share subscribe and i'll catch you boys on the next one Peace.